Ruel removed the bloody, oil-stained latex gloves and stepped back to admire his handiwork. Perfect. He swept his gaze around the sanctuary of St. Matthew's Cathedral, then glanced toward the chapel of the Holy Angels in a loft to the right. After trading the dirty gloves for a fresh pair from the rollerboard case, he extracted a fourteen-inch statuette and placed it near his victim's head. He turned the statuette a few degrees so that it faced the dead man's heart. Satisfied, he retrieved his upper clothing from atop the altar, put on a black clerical vest over a blood-stained T-shirt, adjusted the Roman collar in front, donned a black suit coat over the vest, and placed a black fedora on his head. He paused at the feet of the dead archbishop, made an exaggerated sign of the cross in the air over the corpse, and spoke in a mocking voice. Kiri eleison, Christi eleison, Kiri eleison. Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. He grabbed the suitcase, made a last check for telltale clues, and left the cathedral by the side door he had jimmied hours ago. He departed forty minutes before the scheduled opening for Sunday morning mass. Outside the cathedral, Ruel pulled the hat's brim over his forehead. A lumbering walk took him past closed stores and restaurants on Connecticut Avenue as he hurried for two blocks to the DuPont Circle metro station. The few people who crossed his path on this early Sunday morning ignored him, except for one older couple that offered cheery greetings. Good morning, Father. Ruel gave them a curt nod without breaking stride. 